Polish police arrest three after reports of female genital mutilation emerge. The police arrested three individuals in West Midland region, England, over suspicion that female genital mutilation, or FGM, may be taking place at an unregistered school. A West Midlands police spokesman stated that they received a call on May 10th from an investigator looking into an unregistered school. According to the police, the Office for Standards in Education, Children's Services, and Skills, or Ofsted, discovered a room with a table and medical equipment during an inspection of an unregistered school. Quote, there were concerns raised about possible legal practices that may have taken place at the premises, the police spokesman said, adding, at quote, as a part of our inquiries, two men aged 32 and 61 have been arrested on suspicion of being involved in female genital mutilation. West, Mid West, West Midlands police also acknowledged the possible social implication of this incident, stating, it's important to stress we're still working to establish whether any offenses have occurred. Those arrested have been released from bail on strict conditions while the investigation continues. Well, that's good job. Thank you very much to mm -hmm. English police. Uh, I just want to add, I don't know if this is a good time to add because I don't want to take you away from the story. So do you want to add anything before I say this? No, go for it. What do you have to say? This is the proper reaction to every male genital mutilation as well. Okay. This well, is it's how funny you should bring that up. <laughs> this is this like if the world was a just place, every single place where they were doing male circumcision or male genital mutilation, police would be rushing in and arresting everybody that was involved, including the parents and the doctor. The doctor should be losing his license, going to jail, and all of those people should be arrested. No, I agree. And the parents should be fined. Yeah. Well, so one thing that I asked my writer to integrate into the story is something new that happened recently, um, which is very relevant to this story. And so the uh, International NGO Council on Genital Aut Autonomy um, and the National Secular Society, which is a UK organization, released a report urging the U United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child to protect children from, quote, non-therapeutic genital cutting. The report concluded, quote, all medically unnecessary genital cutting of children is a breach of the child's right under the Convention to Protection from All Forms of Violence. Um, and one thing, wait, the, what they said about the statement was so based. Oh, my gosh. Um, the recommendations included re recommending... Um, the state parties to the convention to quote adopt or amend legislation with a view to eliminating ch child genital cutting an inquiry on all forms of medically unnecessary genital cutting of children and means to eradicate these practices a resolution that non-therapeutic genital cutting is a breach of child's rights under the convention and that member states which permit male genital cutting on children while taking steps to eliminate fgm and intersex genital cutting quote breach the male child's right to freedom from discrimination. Are you serious? They're actually moving in that direction as well? Yes. This... Wait, who said that exactly? Um, the International NGO Council on Genital Autonomy. Oh. It's not a governmental body that is saying that? No, but they were that. speaking, they were directing this to the United Nations. Hmm. Oh. It would be this nice so, if you could this hear this from, yeah. The disparity in the legal approach to female and genital male cutting is, from a rights and ethical perspective, an unsatisfactory situation, resulting in unequal treatment of vulnerable citizens, discriminatory legislation offering unequal gender protection, and serious breaches to the rights of millions of children annually. Mm. I don't know. I just think it's so awesome. Like, you never hear people talking about, like, male discrimination especially in this context but it certainly is it's one of the best examples of it mm. that's really good i know you Wait, no, like i have more news. to say about that story Brent, can you bring that's it back good. up yeah, so okay. for this though this is like freaking crazy so we don't know for a fact that there have been anyone that has actually become a victim of fgm at this school there was like an unregistered religious school 
which itself is like really sketchy and a problem that England is facing right now, where children can be taught content that is much more ideological and much more indoctrinating than they can in a normal school setting. And the descriptions of this really freaked me out. So there was someone going to inspect this area and they were like, they just found like a medical table and medical equipment in the school, in an unregistered school. Wow. Like that's terrifying to me. Yeah. That's, that could lead into so many things. Like this is like, is this properly sanitized? Like, do these people know what they're doing? I have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. like potentially lifelong damages to the body. It certainly is. Yeah. yeah. It's really tough because, um, you know, it's it's really difficult to try to prevent this kind of thing from happening. It just goes to show that it's it's not it's it's really complex. It's a really complex issue to try to work to prevent from a governmental perspective. It can happen under the table in so many different ways. Because most of the women who are survivors of female genital mutilation in the UK are people who came from other places and then moved to the UK. But there are women in the UK who are actively being forced to undergo this. Okay. And of we course, millions come. of boys where it's way more normal to be forced to undergo this. Unfortunately, um, AGA is saying in Australia, there's still it's it's still legal to force through court order for doctors to coerce patients, parents and patients who are intersex to be surgically sterilized. Oh, yeah, the whole the whole intersex thing is on it's like very complicated and on a different level. Um, the user, something I don't remember, is saying these things just freeze my brain. I can't imagine even imagining about them. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.